Hey everyone, this is Ben. You may have heard of Vue.js, but haven't tried it yet. Let's see how we can use Vue.js in CDN mode without installing anything. And all you need is a text editor, a web browser, and a little knowledge about HTML and JavaScript. Let's do it. First, we create a simple HTML file. and write HTML head and body tag, just a regular HTML page. If you are on Windows, you can do it by Notepad. Or if you are on Macintosh, you can use Sublime Text or TextMate. I'm on Ubuntu and my text editor is GNOME Editor. Then go to Vue.js.org. And get started. And quick start. Look for CDN and just copy this and paste it in the body. Save it and drag it to browser. Done. Your app is ready. This message came from here. And now we can use all the features of Vue.js. Let's create a method. Create a simple increase method. And use it here. When this button is clicked, the increase method will be called, and each time the message increases by 1. And here is the template to show it. And alright. Now let's get more professional and use ES module. Just copy this. And let's use VS Code. You can choose any editor you like. Delete the previous code and then paste the new code. Open it in the VS Code simple browser. Note that when you use modules, you must have a web server. I have Apache web server and I've placed my file in this path. Or if you don't have a web server, you can use Stack Blitz. Just go to stackblitz.com and in front end tab, choose static HTML. It is just a static space where you can create simple HTML files and run them. Copy all of this and paste it here. And this is your web server address. And you can use Vue.js on Stack Blitz and create Vue.js app. But this way is not CDN and needs to be built. Anyway, back to VS Code. Now I want to create simple component. Just create a JS file and export default component. 
and create template for it. You can write HTML and CSS here. You can also put it in the back tick to make it multi-line for better view. Okay. Then import it here. and add it to the components. Then we can use it in templates. 